and stories from real life with a nice moral to them are popular as well. Especially if they're about fornication and similar scandalous vices. Can you give me an example? Well, recently a priest by the name of Jan Hus started preaching in Prague in the Czech language, and the people liked it. I hear he always has a full house. A journeyman who heard him told me what Hus is preaching, and I like the sound of it. I'm thinking about putting it in my own repertoire. What's so amazing about it? The preaching of Master Jan Hus about Mother Church. The lamentable wealth in which the church is drowning has turned to poison. And nearly the whole of Christendom is contaminated. Just like a flock of hungry ravens, they settled on this land to devour every grain of gold and silver. They know no mercy. Their hearts are corrupted by longing for wealth, and they shamelessly profit from everything. You want to baptize a child? Pay. You want to steal and murder? Pay and you will have absolution. What if the devil himself were to pay? Would he ascend to heaven too? With such money gained from the poor, they buy beautiful horses to ride and needless servants to pamper them. They gamble at dice and dress their whores in expensive furs while Jesus Christ walked barefoot and had no place to lay his head. Look to your consciences, you robbers of the poor, for you are seen by God and his people too. Amen. Well, this Jan Hu's character is quite a rebel. Oh, the congregation will love it. I don't doubt it. Let's drink to that. Funny. That last bit reminds me of someone. What do you mean? My situation is completely different. Hooth preaches against the prelates and the clerics who are robbing the poor. Look at me. I don't have a pot to piss in. I know better off than the folk I preach to. I'm one with them in poverty and suffering and everything that troubles them. I drink with them and curse those stuffed habits in Sasal Monastery. Don't you think it's a bit odd when someone boozes and lives in sin with a woman and then criticizes the Pope for, be- for debauchery. No, I don't. What do you think of this Jan Hus? He's certainly a wise man. A little overzealous for my taste. If he got out of Prague and came here for a look, I'm sure he'd stop condemning drinking and lying with women. Where can I find out more about his teachings? You like it? I copied down some of his sermons. If you're interested, you can read them at my presbytery. What do the common folk think of it? They like it. They're happy to hear someone say what they think themselves, but are afraid to say aloud. Things that make them angry. And they're calling for change. In a few years, it'll have grown beyond control. You mark my words, the people will rise up and the church will be shaken to its very foundations. Yeah, unless they burn him at the stake first. (laughs) Nonsense. They can't burn a master of the most respected university in Europe. Thanks for the sermon, but I think I've been morally uplifted enough. Oh, it's getting quite late. What are your plans, Father? What do you suppose? We have a drink, of course. Ah, that sounds like a good plan. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Na kraj panu dzisiaj smutek, do mnie loi rano utek, niech ich chłopcy zima i sad, do wczera żył nie staje prak, uż se i boi sławi budzi, nech miał dyk bejmie i budzi, na mnie to jedno, a ta syna mi jedno, a może ten się ubi jako posły mi jed, budzi z wami, a do rana sławi, a tak mi pan sumi, a posad se mi sen, tak posad se sen, a ty pan jeden. Enough of this! Bailiff! Come on over here, sit down and have a drink with us. Don't vex me again, Father. It's three hours past dusk, and curfew is long gone. So what? So? I'll have you all whipped? and put in the stocks, and I'll write a letter to the bishop about you, priest. Well, nothing to worry about then. 
Everyone knows the only one around here who can ride is me. <laughs> Enough! Men! Throw them out. You looking for a fight? Henry, back me up. Look at this beauty. Oh. Oh. We can't do this, can we? Who says? Get ringing, wench. <laughs> <laughs> And now, my dears, comes the climax of the evening. <laughs> Godwin, you old goat. Come here. Oh. The priest has mounted up. <laughs> say that was a fine evening. Godwin, you beast! Get up! Do you hear me? Wake up, you drunkards! Oh, fuck it out. Oh, oh, where the... Oh, what the... Oh, who the hell are you? <laughs> 